Hello everybody, Burnto Guy here and welcome back. Alright, so uh, before we get started, uh, I noticed in my special quest, I, one thing that really pisses me off is this acquire first new mount there. It will not go away for some reason, I don't know why. But we got a new one here, it's called um, Obtain a Companion. So we're going to go and accept that uh, right quick. Uh, speak to Bale. Uh, that's on the other side over there. Wait, you know what, let's do it because um, I want to take this companion into my next uh, next area. I was really actually thinking about choosing a healer for my next, uh, for my first companion with this character. For simple reason, it's always nice to have like a healer around when you're, um, I guess when you're like, you know, oh, yeah, I think I'm going to choose a healer this time. Oh, where are they? Okay, so I have to go in here. Uh, the Grand Emporium. Alright, so off to the Grand Emporium we go. And then in here, we're going to be able to find somebody that's going to tell me that I can get companions. Right here. Alright. Uh, apprentice Healer. Then you get a dog, too, but... Um, I think I'd rather the Apprentice Healer. That's what I'm going to choose. Perfect. So I took the Apprentice Healer, obviously, right? So let's go into inventory, because that's where they always pop up first. Now if this person thing would get out of here. Alright, so we'll go bind. Um, enter a name. Uh, a name of a healer. We'll just call them from the old games Excellent numbers. because he's a healer, right? Kind of a paladin type thing. We'll just call him Avatar. Um, and no, it's not from the bloody movie. It's from the bloody uh, game that was made back a long time ago. It was actually called Ultima. And for anybody that does know that game, well, congratulations, you are completely awesome. But if you don't, educate yourself and uh, find out what Ultima was. And Ultima Online and all that good stuff. Because I actually played Ultima Online for a long time. Alright, so we'll go to our companions now. And in the companions, we have... Our healer. Wow, you look absolutely sad and pathetic, don't you? Alright, so you hit X to summon him, and then uh, they're going to gain levels through the experience that you gain, and they're going to unlock new powers and all that good stuff, and you can uh, actually put stuff on him here. Oh, that's kind of good. Uh, well, we'll put that one on there for now. It doesn't matter. Later on, you can get stuff to actually uh, remove them, because you're going to be able to remove it. And remove it for one gold. It'll cost 25. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's so bad. Alright, so now we got the healer. Awesome. Alright, now we talk to this person right here. The hand. Oh, and then you get more people here. Oh, that's so awesome. I didn't know that. A con artist. Oh, yeah. Consume violent expert striker. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I wonder if that's like a, a thief. I must be kind of like a thief. And then we have a, a shield maiden, so that's a fighter. Alright, that's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get the hell out of here now that we're done. Talk to the Zen vendor. Why do we need to talk to a Zen vendor? Oh, one of those quests that are actually going to bring you to money. Uh, yeah, to the thing where they want you to spend Zen. Alright, so we'll just go and we'll do that. And it gives us, like, you know, more quests and more experience at the same time, you know? Like, uh, the faster we gain levels, the, you know, the better it is, right? Ah, uh, yes. I can't wait to get higher levels. Yeah, the game is, like, really, really intense later on. Uh, well, I find, anyways, because you have, like, so many higher level enemies and... The equipment starts to get really cool and really awesome and uh, more powerful and you're doing more damage. And oh, did I actually have to talk? He was in there. Oh, no way. Really? Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, maybe I'll put up a lot faster. There we go. Alright, so we'll Zen Vendor. That's the Zen Vendor. This is where you can actually buy Zen and all the store and all that crap. Anything for free? 
No, of course, there's nothing for free. Never anything for free in this game. Oh, I want you to buy everything. So that was it. Um, now we have to put the reward. Oh, nice. Awesome. There we go. We got another room dump. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, so that's good. Now we can go talk to Sergeant Knox. Well, I guess that's probably too... Um, what the hell? Probably to claim finish that quest? I don't know. <laughs> But anyways, let's go talk to him some more first. You know, they, they do make you run back and forth a lot between this game, but one of the main things is you're going to talk to Sergeant Knock a lot because he's usually the one that's giving, giving you the okay to kind of go into the next area. Excuse me. And uh, he makes you, like, you know, talk to that one person that's going to give you, like, 20 quests in that area and then so forth. Which is actually... I don't know why I did that. Maybe it's going to open the door or something. I don't know. It's kind of strange. It's odd. Let's just run up here. And not bad. We've got another 23 minutes. Like, again. Gonna get 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and that will be the do. Um, you can only do this so many times per day. And, yeah. But it's okay. I guess that's why it's good to have several characters, and possibly two. Uh, that's all I'm ever gonna have on this game, anyways. All right, so Check care and feeding complete. Excellent. There we go. So, uh, you're done. All right. So now let's go down here, and we're gonna go to this other area. Uh, it's right in town here, actually, and this is actually a quest. Hey. That's right before the way out. I think the horse something looks so silly. I'm bloody real. And then we're almost there, so I'm gonna be in this door right here. Awesome. Now loading the link there. Oh yeah, I think this is with that woman, right? Timura, please help us. That's my wife, Dorothea. She was spell scarred last winter. We've been hiding it so she wouldn't be sent to Helm's Hole, but she's been getting worse. I called on her. Yeah, medicine. I remember this quest. His medicine will change the way he back, but only if she's been subdued. And I cannot strike my own wife. Ouch. She's in a frenzy and has locked herself up. She's in a frenzy. Yeah, no shit. Can you help me? Wow. <laughs> There we go. Uh, a fucking monster. Uh, do we talk to this guy? Rizard right. tells me she could change again at any right. time. He also said he can help her if we can get her to this hidden hospice in the ruins of the Tower of Solace. As part of Sergeant Nox's squad, I enforce the Protector's Law and exile this spell scar to the sanatorium at Helmshold. Oh. The wheel turns, doesn't He's it? still upstairs, so I guess I gotta talk to that guy. There we go. Right. Dorothea's condition is worse than I. True, the dead rats sometimes move right. through those sewers. But there's no time to wait, lest Dorothea be discovered. You'll have to be her guardian. Oh, sure. You're the big powerful mage, and I gotta be your guardian? Come on now. That's a little cheese, don't you think? Wrong. Yeah, I'm not gonna spoil it for you. There's a lot of stuff that's gonna happen from this point on from this quest. It's um, it's this is kind of a quest that kind of like jumps into like four or five different quests, which is pretty interesting. Uh, all right, so let's get over here. Now I'll probably go into the sewers again, if I'm not mistaken. If they want right. So we're gonna go down to the sewers. This is crazy. Uh, how many times do you have to go on this? Oh, well, whatever. Uh, uh, just down here. Right. There we go. So you have to kill the enemies pretty quick because if you don't, they, uh, she gets all freaky again and then you gotta, like, you know, knock her ass out again. It can kind of be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but yeah. We'll, uh, 
we'll get through this as fast as we can, right? <clears throat> there we go. So as long as they don't touch her, we should be pretty good. Oh, there's a... Where's the lever? Is there no lever here? Oh, you gotta wait till she gets there? That's horseshit. That really is horseshit. Alright, so... I'm trying to rush ahead to uh, kill the enemies before they get to her. Or if they happen to see her at once. Heaven forbid if she gets hurt. Because I don't want her freaking out. Uh, Alright, see? That's so horrible. She's gonna be like hammered off of that elixir by the time I get through this uh, this episode. <laughs> Cause I know she. Uh, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Come on, Dorothy. Can you hurry your ass up? <clears throat> you know, like uh, you got a lot of shit to do here. Now I'm assuming that they probably do that on purpose. To, uh, uh, to make it a lot harder so that way she has no choice but to kind of like follow you around because um, I guess if you could run in front of her the entire way you'd be able to kind of clear the entire way and, well you know that'd be kind of no no bloody challenge there right so I wonder what that bill of sale is that's kind of weird. I have no dungeoneering kits. I'm going to have to go and invest in that uh, to get some more kits because I'm missing out on a lot of good stuff here as I'm, as I'm running around. So. There we go. So where's Dorothy? Uh, she's slow. She's slow. Hell is she ever slow. Alright. Is that going to open up soon? <coughs> Bloody hope so. Oh, can you hurry up, please? Oh, yeah, she's gonna definitely freak out in here. Why? You didn't get touched. No one touched you. Oh, now you're gonna get touched. No, nope, no, nope, not yet. There. I don't know how much of that stuff she's gonna drink. Thank That's you. insane, eh? Oh, really? That's horrible. Again. See, look at that. She's gonna be hammered. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Let's just get your ass in gear so we can uh, get through this. Alright, treasure chest. I'll take that. I'm trying to identify items. Over here before she did. Alright, so now we exit this area. Good, it's about time. Had to uh, feed her that bottle like four or five times there. It was pretty bad. Could you Look who's here! Should we kill you in front of your little wife, Joseph? Look who's here! Oh yeah, this part's pretty funny. Keep away from my... Oh no, now she's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, she does a pretty good job of kicking their ass. There, there we go. There we go, take that. Oh. Awesome. Now where are you going? Oh, there's more guys. I didn't think there was more. It's all good. There you go. More guys dead. Ah, she's pretty bitching, eh? Anyway. Wow. It's quite a quite a skill. That guy was caught in the fire. That's hilarious. Okay, so those bandits picked the wrong time to get no their kidding, revenge. Eh? Thank you for dealing with them, but there are more up ahead, and I don't think we'll be able to move Dorothea. The tower is nearby. We must get Rizard and bring him back swiftly. It's Dorothea's only chance. All right, we can do that. We can do that. So that hand up in the corner, if you see there, that means my um, my character is ready to go up a level. 
uh, but uh, we're not really gonna worry about the levels at the moment, just because I want to. Oh, that hurt. Holy oh, shit, I you guys are pretty tough. Wow, where'd that wizard just come from? Alright. So much for having a healer. He's not doing much healing. Crying out loud. Aw, oh, man. Alright. Here we go. Wow. That healer really sucked, eh? Wasn't very good. <laughs> Alright, so where are we going? Resired. Oh, there he is. Right there. I heard fighting below and fear Yes, the well. I only hope poor Dorothea is yes. Let us go That's to right. Her Let us go to her at once. Try to get down there anyways. And then, uh, what are we at here? 16 minutes? So we might just call it an episode afterwards and then start off with the next section there afterwards. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos relatively kind of short so that way you know like you don't get uh, too overwhelmed <laughs> all right excellent all right so you're gonna I'm sorry this excellent all right so that's perfect so we'll grab our stuff we got some new crap here and then return to sergeant Knox all right so that's what we'll do we'll return to sergeant Knox cash in the quest and we shall call that episode complete which will be good because then I know this like starts like a chain reaction of quests this one here and uh, we don't want to like get in too over our head and make the episodes too long because even I find when I'm watching like somebody else play a game or whatever there if once it actually kind of hits like the 20 some minute mark it's usually pretty good for okay let's next episode unless the game is like really really intense you know like then it's a little bit different uh because sometimes you get through those walls in the game where it's just like um okay you know like the last episode i did there a little while ago it was like 31 minutes um that one there just because you know the grinding of the shards and all that stuff and you know i just didn't feel like cutting it all out and you know shortening it up a bit but you know it's because which is exactly what you're gonna have to go through when you do these right and um, so I just want to like get you all prepared for what you're what you're going to do and at the same time too you guys can kind of get an idea of like how the game's going to go and all that good stuff so here we go to Sergeant Knox we'll cash in this quest troubles and times there we go level 17 wizard's folly all right Rumor that someone matching his description was seen talking to Twalo the Bright, one of the city's preeminent wizards. Go to Twalo's home and talk to him there. He may be able to tell us more about what Good stuff. Alright, so that's it, everybody. Uh, in the next episode, we will go to uh, Twalo the Bright's home. Um, Alright, and that's it. So, peace. See you next time.